Ladies and gentlemen, graduating class 2024, I bring you greetings on behalf of the regional chairman, councillors, and staff of the RDC Region 10. I'm so happy and excited to be here today in Develt to celebrate the results of hard work. The student, teachers, headmistress, and parents would have put in for this graduating student of 2024. I would like to also sincerely thank the headmistress, Ms. Leticia Lips, and the staff of Develop Primary School for inviting me here to share on this occasion with these students, their parents, their friends, mm -hmm. and esteemed guests. I would also like to thank my supporting team, or my traveling team, the Honorable Sherrod Duncan, Member of Parliament. Let me give a hand for Sherrod Duncan. <laughs> and the Chairman of the, of the Education Committee, Councillor Michelle Daniels. Thank you for coming with me. And this beautiful graduating class of 2024. Now this, I can tell you, I'm, I'm so excited to be here today that from the time the list of graduates, the top 10 for Region 10 came, and it came to my phone, I scanned it to see who got the top 10. And right there at number seven, I saw it developed. I didn't see anything else. Because I'm so accustomed to seeing Regmon, Watuka, and One Mile competing for the top 10. And soon as he developed, I said, I know where I'm going for the next graduation. Even though I was, I was invited to so much out of school, right away, I know I'm going to develop. <laughs> yeah, so right away, I, you know, I said, I'm going to develop. I got on to someone in develop. I want to get on to whoever is Janelli Cortez. Cortez, I'm, I'm pronouncing the name correct? Cortez? Cortez. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm having trouble with that name since I heard it. So I just say Janelli. Yeah, so soon I saw that, I reached out to someone. I said, I need a picture of Joel. I need to showcase this beautiful young lady for a talent achieving this milestone. You know, it's historic. And I want to showcase her. And ever since, you know, I was showcasing. Then somebody sent me another picture. We have more than one person. We have young Kyle Harris also did well. So let's give a hand for Kyle Harris. And the other student that did well also, and I can assure you, I bring goodies for each one of you guys. So I just know that I had to come to the event, no matter what it costs, I had to be here today. I, in fact, I had another event today, but look it postponed. So <laughs> I had to make an excuse. <laughs> anyway, this event is more than just a ceremony. It is a milestone. It marks the end of years of hard work, study session, and support of parents and teachers to ensure that the students graduating here today have the best opportunity to continue their education. Today, we stand on the threshold of a future waiting to be shaped by your dreams and ambition. I would like to share with you the importance of recognizing the vast array of opportunities that spread out ahead of you, our graduating class of 2024. As you move on from this school, on your secondary education journey, I am sure that while many of you are excited about moving on to various secondary school, you are also a little, little, little apprehensive about leaving your friends and having to create new social circle, leaving your homes to pursue study outside of Develt. These changes may seem to be overwhelmed, but I want to encourage you to look on the brighter side of these challenges. Your regional democratic council has advocated for, the, for, from the outset, a policy, the pursuit of equal access to education and health services for all communities across this region. However, we are aware of the difficulties with the provision of secondary education in our small communities based on population size and especially on primary school in the riverine communities. Which, focus, which forces students seeking higher education to travel out to other areas to attend school as you will have to. And I can tell you, this nine council have been advocating for a secondary school to be built 
at the satellite village of Wairuni so that students don't have to travel out to New Amsterdam or to Kokwani, leaving their family. We need a secondary school right here in the Barbies River so that all our students can access education and not just education, but the highest quality education with the best teachers. And I know Develta have the best teacher. Isn't that so? Yeah. All right. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Develta have the best teachers. I want to encourage you to view this journey as a chance to broaden your view of what is possible and to embrace new relationships and opportunity that this will provide. We often shy away from the changes in our environment, forgetting that new experiences bring out new strength and abilities to adapt and excel as we go through our lives. It is the excitement that goes along with participating in new experiences that I am certain will make this part of your life as secondary student truly memorable. My years of secondary education at the Christian Borg Wisma Secondary School is a period where I developed the most meaningful relationship. And I wanted to take note of that word I use, the most meaningful relationship in my life. And I'm sure that this will be true for you as well. This is the second and for me, the most important aspect of this transition for you as students from primary to secondary education. I'm sure that if you talk with your parents and teachers or teachers, they will tell you about friends who became long life partner, long li long, who became lifelong and steadfast parts of their lives, who they met and created memories with during their years at secondary education. And I can also tell you that I would have developed a meaningful relationship with one of my childhood friend moving on from primary school, leaving all those primary school friends, and some went over with me into secondary school. And there I met my friend Roger Kingston in 1995. And I can tell you today, he is still my friend. In fact, now he has become my brother. And we have went through so much together. We have studied together, sleep on the same bed together, grow together. And we now became business partner. We have, were able to create millions and millions of dollars in wealth for herself and family and to develop herself. In fact, he is one of the sponsors of one of my gifts that I bring, which in work from his company, Kingston um, Waste Management. So, as I say, when you leave from here and you move on to secondary school, there you can also reach person that, is be that will become meaningful life partner to you. Might not be a life partner in terms of somebody who you develop and marry, but a friend that you can develop that bond with, that relationship with, that trust. Now, as our Guyanese saying goes, show me your friends and I tell you who you are. This is a truism that will serve you well. So I encourage you to take it as very good advice. So choose your friend very, very carefully. Because one friend, like my friend Roger, could lead you up the hill and where you became millionaires. And another friend can lead you down the hill and where you became, I can't say. But choose your friend very carefully. Don't let your friend lead you astray. You must be the leaders and let them know. Develop people are leaders. So you're not followers. When you go to Georgetown, to Queen's College, and to Joseph High, and, to Bar and the school in Barbie, so who choose to go to Kokwani, you are leaders. Let me hear you say, you are, you say, I Come on, graduating class. I, I am a leader. All right, so you leave it with that advice. You are a leader. I will also urge you to get involved in extracurriculum activities. Extracurricular activities, as these offer the benefits of filling out your experiences to make you a well-rounded person. The health benefits of involvement in sports and administrative knowledge gained by involvement in service organization and clubs, and the discipline involved in participating in these groups are all just as beneficial to your growth and development as your formal studies. So get involved in extracurricular activity, get involved in sports, and create a balance in your life. Don't just study all the time. All work and no play make jack of what? 
All right. So once you continue to um, excel in your education, also excel in sports. I know you, there are your rivers right out this, I guess. You're excellent swimmer. Let me see where you're excellent swimmer. All right. Develt, I, wanna, I will be following you guys to make sure you excel at swimming. <laughs> yes. To the parents who have been so supportive of your children's educational pursuit so far, I applaud your commitment and dedication to ensuring their success. They will need your encouragement and support to take full advantage of these new experiences that are ongoing, that are opening up ahead of them as they blossom into young adults and take on greater self-awareness self and independence. So parents, please stay in tune with your children and the gift that I bring here, I know that you will be able to stay in touch with them all the time. Make sure that you're following their studies, make sure that you're following who they associate with, even family members. Keep a tab, especially girl children. Always keep a tab on them, make sure they are safe. I know that it will require an even greater commitment to ensure that the benefit from the opportunities for secondary education that will be available to them. However, I am heartened by the fact that Develt has a rich history of producing brilliant persons who have excelled at their studies at this school outside of the village, even with the challenges this brings. Of course, I would like to extend very special congratulations to little Miss Janelli, who hard work saw her place among the top 10 students in Region 10 with the award of a place to study at the prestigious Queen's College. All of Region 10 celebrate this achievement with you, especially me. <laughs> especially the chairman and councillors of the Regional Democratic of Region 10. And I can tell you, all of them want to come, but the boat was too small, so I had to leave them back. <laughs> next time they will come, next year, we got in more Queen's College. Isn't that so, teachers? All right. <laughs> Next year we're back again. I want to allow the example of one of our own Barbies River resident who moved beyond her upbringing and the, chal and the challenges of going to school in Barbies River, in the Barbies River, to become one of the very first judges appointed to the Guyana Family Court. I speak here of Justice Sandra Korshaw, who might be one of your family members, and she carried the name with Ms. Janelli. Yeah, since she was born and grew up a little up the road, or up the river, I should say, so custom with the road. I got custom with the river, Lily, so y'all be with me. But she would have grown up a little bit up at Fort Nassau. Yeah, a little bit up at Fort Nassau. Justice Korshaw has never forgotten her roots. And when interviewed by Stabric News in November 2012, indicated that she is a proud, that she is proud to tell people that her that the home in which she spent some of her childhood years was situated just opposite the headquarters of Cop of Coffee. The headquarters, just opposite Coffee headquarters during the uprising. And that is great company to be sitting, to be living right opposite the great coffee. While describing growing up in the Barbies River as, quote, this is the joy of my life. So I guess everyone that growing up in Barbies River here can say, growing up in the Barbies River is the joy of your life. I want to enjoy that joy. I think y'all should give me a piece of land up here. Y'all think? <laughs> y'all look for peace. You may come in and get some of this joy. <laughs> yes, these are the doors that will open up to you as you move on to your next phase of education. And I'm sure that you all have the potential to march and even surpass the achievement of Justice Courses. So we're looking to see you guys surpass our achievement and make the Velt and the Borbis River proud. Of course, given the celebratory nature of this occasion, I would like to end on a note of congratulation to the person in focus here today, the graduating student, and wish you the very, very best as you move on to secondary school. I also want to congratulate your parents for their support. And let me give a hand to the parents. The parents who have been supporting these students. 
Working with them night and day, making sure that they have all the resources to succeed. Parents, I want to thank you for that. And as, you con as they continue to move on to this other second phase of their life, and the most important one, because here is where your character will shape. Here is where you will choose your career. Here is where the path on which you're going to go. is either you go to the road on the left or the road on your right. And I tell you to choose the road on your right as you go along. And trust me, you will make, develop a proud village and the pride of the Barbies River. I also want to congratulate or commend the head teacher and the staff of Develop Primary School. Uh, and I'm, I'm missing something else. I mean, even in my speech, I have a prepared for it. Our little babies that is graduating, going over now into Develop Primary. Let us give her a hand for our little babies. I can't believe I forget you guys, those little angels. I want to congratulate the parents also for these little who continue to support them as the parents support these six graduates so that they also can be successful come next five years. Would I be coming back to your graduation? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll be coming back again. So once again, I want to thank you guys for inviting me, but the truth of it, I invite myself. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'm going to develop. Nobody could stop me from going to develop. I'm just happy to be here to celebrate with you guys. So once again, thank you, and thank you for having me.